Yes, guys, and a welcome from me. This is Championship Manager 0102, the World King Challenge, Part 11. Your eyes are not deceiving you. Do not panic. Yes, I have moved to Celtic. <laughs> now, I don't doubt, right, if I had any Rangers fans out there, they now hate me even more. Probably didn't have any fans anyway, but... So basically, um, I have found England extremely difficult, extremely difficult. Chelsea, I finished eighth and we went on the list, <laughs> you know. We eventually went on the fucking list and we took over Celtic right at the end of the season with two games to go. They'd already confirmed the title. So um, I think really I've got to regroup and start again. Um, you know, Celtic, I mean, Matt had pointed out that, oh my God, they've got like ridiculous amounts of money. Um, there you see, ridiculous amount of money. I don't think we're not even up to the new transfer yet. So we took over Celtic. Um, we, we, you know, I don't know. Yeah, all right. It's an easy challenge. It's in that fucking farmers league over there in Scotland. No, but the plan's going to be. I need. I think we all we all play the game, and I think we all get rage, don't we? And it's like when things are against you, they're against you. Um, so. You know, we, we struggled at Chelsea. Let's, uh, I think we've just done the updates actually, so I can't actually, I can't actually do too much more. Let's just see where they finished. I think they finished probably about eighth, something like that. They finished eighth, so they finished in the same position. I mean, last season, we won, um, did we win the League Cup? We did, didn't we? We won the League Cup, so we went backwards. It went absolutely backwards, and do you know what? I don't know what the fuck happened. Really don't, you know. So, we... You end up uh, having to leave, really. So, and you could argue why we gone to Scotland. I said I'd never go back to Scotland, and I did. But that's how that's how far it got. That's how far it got. I had to leave. So uh, that is that. So that's me then. Nothing worth screaming about. I'm at Celtic for the new season, and um, I want to have a year in Scotland again um, and enjoy the uh, the, the weather. <laughs> uh, let's go and talk about Matt. Let's go and talk about Matt. So Matt has left New England. Matt has left New England. Um, and I'll show you when he left New England, if I can. He left New England just around December, at the end of the season. And um, you can probably, you're probably going to work out why Matt left. Because Matt did it. Matt fucking did it. It, um, it weren't looking promising, was it, at one point? Um, the group stages in the MLS is fucking weird. It really is. He did the double, and, you know, he's checked that off. He's done a, he's done a great job, no doubt about that. Um, so he won the MLS Cup final, as well as winning the... Um, sorry, he won the, ML the US Open Cup final, as well, in, as well as winning the MLS Cup, or the league. But these groups are fucked, because what happened is... We had a quarter final, and I just don't know how. They, so you get the top, the winners of each group, they go into the quarterfinals, as do the best runners up. And no, not the best runners, as do the three runners up, as do the, the, the two best third place finishes. So, for, hypothetically, Colorado are on 19, um, LAFC 19. So yeah, so uh, it, it's just fucking shit. It don't matter if you win all your fucking games. Thirty-two out of thirty-two, for DC United means jack shit. Um, and you know Matt obviously took over. It was a long way behind, and it just proved it didn't make no difference at all. So credit where it's due, but Matt has now left the United States. He has left the United States. Are you ready? Matt has gone to Espanol. Matt is in Spain. Um, let's see where he finished off. Uh, he finished ninth. I don't think he's made it into Europe. Let's have a look at his um, signings for last season. He's obviously going to have a batch more coming through. But he managed to get his seven signings in. Um, I, the move is an interesting one, to be honest with you. Uh, because I think it's going to be a little bit harder than possibly he thinks. I think he'll be hoping to, um, to make an assault on the title this season. Um... What a player. The, the most Salah region, absolutely. I mean, I think he's smashed a lot of his balance for him. Uh, Zeka region. So he's brought in some absolute stunning players. Uh, I don't know what his money's like secure, so it's not rich. So it's an interesting one. I think uh, if we look at Spain a minute, you know, Real Madrid are going to be kings. Barcelona will always be there. Atletico will be there. Betis have been a force. I think it could be a little bit more difficult than what he thinks. Remember what happened to Bologna. I mean, there's a part of me that thinks it could happen again with Espanyol. 
you know, hopefully I'm wrong, and hopefully he can achieve success in Spain. Another leg of the tour. I think we're level on legs now. So Matt's got a massive opportunity to go ahead. If he can win, in, if he can do it in Spain, I can't do anything new in Scotland that I haven't already done. Who knows? Who knows? Um, but for me, I had to get out of England because it's just fucking sickening me. I thought about going to Brazil. I, was, I had a job offer, then I chose not to. Uh, it's very, very interesting. But for Matt, you know, he, he's, he has built a really, really good team. He really has. And I think credit where it is due for Matt. For me personally, at Celtic, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect anymore. I just cannot seem to do it in England. It really is true. I mean, that's Newcastle and Chelsea now. They've gone right out the window. And just to make matters worse, um, uh, just to make matters worse, let me just... Um, I think it was West Ham that did it. Let's just double check. Probably West Ham. I know they'd, they'd have backed up. No, it weren't. They, no. So, so West Ham are clearly a big team. Arsenal are. Spurs are. And Man City are always going to be up there. There's no doubt about it. It's, you know, it, it really, really fucking frustrated me. I kid you not. I think, as I said, you know, a lot of us, we get frustrated with a game. Uh, this this reached a new level for me personally. So, um, so that's it, guys. That is where we're at then with the World King Challenge. We haven't really played that much on it. I think a few things have come up, come in, uh, you know, taken a bit more priority, i.e. another alternative um, interactive game. But uh, it's very much still alive, guys. Till next time from me, take it easy.